Hello and welcome back to Evil Land. <laughs> yes, I can buy one recruit and we are six short uh, um, for his upgrade. So never mind that. Uh, we are probably gonna restart this fight a couple of times anyway. Where are they? I mean, why shouldn't we just rush? Our heroes will go on one side, while our other less fortunate salts will go the other way. What do you say? <laughs> I, f I think this is a perfect, perfectly fine idea. And also they have wizards and catapults and everything. I actually need everyone to stay alive for long enough to fight with lieutenant lieutenants. Got that. What? Chris Refer Sipok. I summon infernal flames. Oh, they're doing nice. Nice, really. Unfortunately, we'll be able to kill only one of them. Yeah. This is truly unfortunate. Um, not my archer! No! I think one of my archers will be able to kill that wizard now. Luckily we have three more. Uh, that's how it works. doing better than the other guys. Oh, okay, now I see the other wizard up there. No! Oh, stop that. I'm glad that they have no idea what they're doing. Or 
perfect. Uh, you is heal. Clunk. Thank you. Nice. Right? No, you had. Oh, you have ice. Yeah, wait. One, two, three, eight should be fine. Yep. There was a chance. I think. <laughs> We will try to heal Dalkin this time. Oh! We won't heal anyone because I have a memory of a goldfish. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I wanted to mm, protect with him. Start hitting Lieutenant now. Only 14 per head, but uh, we'll have to make it work. You. Yes, I'm putting him there to die, basically. Oof. When it comes to getting hit by ranged attacks, Clank is doing really well to tank those hits. And I mean it. Parch. Clank should be... Nope, he of course he's not able to get there. Um... Okay, now we are back. Um, please shoot him. Thank you. Uh, please sacrifice yourself to keep archers up alive. Actually, um, if you don't, then let's put it up on the map. One, two, three. this will work. Ah! <laughs> try to hit Magus, but that doesn't seem to be working well. Um, you are doing fine, soldier. Um, charge. Magus! Not Magus, bleh. Menos. I've been killed the guy so long that I thought about What the fuck? Two guys to shoot by Magus. I need more than two guys to shoot Magus. Okay, um, this should be fine. Okay, great. Can you make it? Yes, you can. 
Great, fantastic. Hit him. Oh, but he can hit his own. Which is amazing. Fuck. We are dead because I misclicked. So there's that. I love the smell of failure in the morning. Ugh. No! It's impossible! I cannot lose. Not now! You're trapped like a rat that stinks of cor... Corsican cheese. Do not think you can follow me with your obscure cheese references. Quickly, after him. He must not be allowed to flee. We need to hurry. He's gonna get too far ahead. Pursue him. Quickly, now. Uh, off we go then? <laughs> Precisely. Magus left this way. Let's catch him, quick! Where exactly are we? We followed Magus like all the way here. I believe this is a very ancient site, buried deep beneath the Munya castle. What was this place used for, Menos? I... I, I do not know. I have never laid eyes on it. Nor was I even aware it existed. Hmm. Nito! Another mysterious locale to explore. Hmm. Not a single inhabitant survived. I'll stay in case the Magus tries to flee. Okay. This cannot be. What are all those demons doing here? Looks like ancient mag magi machinery. Wait, could it be that the magi create demons? What an intriguing discovery. I would have never theorized. No, that's impossible. Demons created by humans? On the contrary, Menos, it is possible. If my working theory is correct, things have come full circle. Humans created demons during the Magi era, only to destroy them in the Great War. What a waste. So it's Nail, Fina? Please tell me she's mistaken. That means I too I'm not but a a creature molded by human hands. Hardly even a living thing. No, that's not true. Menos, you're not merely some creature. You are Menos, son of King Arthus, commander-in-chief of the Demonian army, heir to the throne of Demonia itself. And you're also our friend. Still, my people has been annihilated by the Empire. My son has been tainted by a desire for vengeance. And now this! Ah! Maybe demons were created by Magi, so what? That does not nothing to change who you are. Why must you always look back? You can't chain yourself to your past, tragic as it may be. What good does it do to dwell on something you can't change? All that matters is this moment and what we'll do in the next. Most importantly, you're not alone. Clunk, Fina, and I'm here too. We're all standing by you. 
I understand your words, Velvet. Indeed, I would rather pull the past aside and focus on the future, just as my father showed me. And yet, I still have hope. You say we are powerless to alter the past. I used to believe the same. But our travels through time have proved the opposite. So how can I be content to do nothing? How can I accept reality in its current form? The problem is, we still do not know if we do have free will. What if the changes we make to the timeline are predestined as well? I don't believe in fate or predestination. This power we have to journey for time. I did not know what to make of it before, but now I understand. It has allowed us to mend reality, to change our world for a, the better. And who's to decide what is better for the world? Hmm? You? Me? The four of us? Who are we to make the choice for the people whose lives we're unpending in the process? And for every life saved, how many others does it destroy? How can we possibly deal with the collateral effects of thousands of years of history? I don't think time travel allows you to change things. The past is what it is. We can't just play God. Your rationale makes little sense. If we possess this power, why refrain from using it? I can't stand it when they argue. Can't they just agree to disagree? How about you, Clunk? You think we should change time more than nearly? Yes. For sure, it's tempting. But the Velvet has a point. We should be careful of the consequences. Any of the okay, I don't think any of those books are something we can interact with. So, you were following me. Give it up, Megas. You're finished. I must admit, I underestimated you. I thought only Colonel Dalkin could interfere with my plans. You slaughtered my people. I shall never forgive you. Your people? <laughs> oh, you mean the critters we call demons. Rest assured, once I am finally rid of you, I shall reactivate those ancient magi machines. And with them, I'll build an army of demons. One well, that will be at my back and core. You won't get away with this. We shall see. Oh, god fucking damn it. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay, I get it.
My army, my demons. I have avenged my people, though I could not save them. Menos. I am fine. I fought on what you said, Velvet. I believe you're right, after all. Thank you for your help, dear friends. Hmm. Was he actually fine, or just holding back the tears? I feel bad for Menos, Clank. He didn't deserve all that. Then again, who would? And this gives us fragment of Earth. There you have it. This is where our paths diverge. Oh, thanks for everything, Tolkien. We could never have beaten Magus without you. Miss Fina is quite right. Forgive me for doubting you. I am honored to have fought by your side, Colonel. Thank you. But you're forgetting the true hero, Clank. Without his tactical mind, we would have never defeated Magus and his forces. I could swear he's blushing. Now, to draw up my report for the Emperor. Here's hoping I don't get executed for this. Executed? You were only following orders! Do you think me so naive? One of these days, you will have to tell me how it came about that Imperial Medal. We... No need to apologize, I knew the risks full well, and I am glad to have aided you. Goodbye, my friends. Long, but he's still. He's a true hero. Let us hope all goes well for him. Once again, we altered history. For the better this time, at least I hope so. And. Wait, and this is where I'm gonna end this part. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.